let's just hope that nothing freezes. Hello, hello, my friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to the face and the card making space and another Sunday Live. We're live. We're live. We're live. Me and the unpaid intern sitting here and I don't know why it just feels dark again. I love November. November is wonderful. Hooray. It's very overcast today. No, it's not. It isn't? The little bit you can see out the window. Oh. <laughs> it's like blue sky. <laughs> It's yeah, very overcast. It's yeah, very no dark, problem. very miserable. It's just November. Feels like that. Feels like that. But hello. 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 It seems like everything is working. Hooray. Hooray. And I think I did it right this time. We've got the link in the description box below the video to the Google form where you guys can put your names and addresses in and Chris will pick winners of the, I'm most likely gonna make two cards today, just it's habit, but put in your name and address and then at the end of today's live, he'll pick random winners and I'll mail out the cards. You saved the screenshots from the previous ones, right? I sure did. Okay, good. Um, and yeah, I mailed out the previous two lives, all the ones, the three that won last week and the two that won the week before, I mailed those out this past week. So those, those should be showing up a couple weeks ish. It depends on the postal service. Some things show up quickly, some don't. So we're good. Everything's working. Hello to everybody. I have, um, yeah, we've got like Chicago and Mexico and the never Netherlands and everywhere, everywhere crazy. Is the form working? Did we check that? I didn't that check that. Question. Let me double check. Let me double check. It should work. Unless you change something. Did I change something? I hope you didn't change something because otherwise then I have to change the link. Let me double check. Ah, uh, we got to open the link. Just give me a sec. I remember. I remember. Give me one second. I got it. I got it. Did you fix it? I, I think so. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another. Okay, we're good now. It should work, but double click check the link because sometimes if you change something, the link doesn't work. So uh, just, just, just. It looks good now. Is it working? Yeah. Is it working? Technology is so much fun. Yeah. It's working. We're good. We're good. <laughs> it's accepting the things. That's what I forgot to do. I remembered the other parts. I forgot that I needed to click the button. Click the button. Okay. We're good. We're good. Everything's working. <laughs> it works now. Mm -hmm. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ugh. Anyway, okay, I'm not using this one today. I'm not using that. I am using so many other things. Okay, okay, it's working now. So you guys can put your names and addresses into the form that now works. And Chris will choose random winners. I'll mail out the cards I make, cause why not? And I think that's it. Oh, and then yeah, everything I'm using within reason is also already linked in the description box below. So you can check that out. And then Chris will pop in the links in the chat, you know, as, as we're, we're doing all of the things and yeah. Hello. Hello to everybody. And yeah, no, it's working now. It is working now. Just do it again. It wasn't up until two minutes um, ago. Two minutes ago. Yeah. So anyway, Anyway, we, we fixed it. Everything's working. Okay, let's, let's start making stuff. We're going to, we're going to get inky. I decided to do another set of ink smushing with the distress spray stains. This time I'm going to mix up, do slightly different colors, similar color scheme to the card I posted just the other day. A lot of people asking me to reuse that die set. And then this time I'm going to add in just one mica stain spray for some extra shimmer sparkle amazing now and um yeah this should 
everything should work. Okay. So yeah, hero, hero to all of the peoples. And let me, let me just move some things around here on my computer so that I know what I'm doing. And then we're going to switch. And then I'm going to go like this and like this. And we'll just make me a little bit smaller. Still got to figure out all the other things, but whatever. And I can do that. Perfect. Perfect. Where's my leaf? There it is. Okay. Starting with Simon Says Stamps Buckeye Leaf Wafer Dye. Um, any leaf wafer dye is going to work. I'm probably going to use some other ones, but not for the ink smushing portion. And like I've said a whole bunch of times, I like to die cut first. Only reason being is I can then kind of see more where, where I'm getting the inky, smushy, splattery parts. But do you need to die cut first? No. You can totally just smush on, make a bunch of backgrounds, die cut later. You know, whatever, whatever works for you. I just like die cutting first because then I can just, I can see more what I'm doing. But if I was just going to muck around and create a bunch of inky backgrounds, that's what I would do. And then later possibly die cut them, make them a background, like whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. So I die cut these leaves from Canson XL watercolor paper. And again, experiment with what you've got. When it comes to ink smushing, you want something that can handle a lot of moisture. So generally watercolor paper, heavy stock, like distress heavy stock, uh, distress watercolor paper obviously works perfectly for this. Canson works perfectly for this. Again, experiment with what you've got because all sorts of things are going to work. Um, I'm going to put this over here for now because this is, this is going to get messy. <laughs> Uh, so yes, welcome to everybody live. It's fun. And welcome to those that are like your first time tuning in. It's well, just welcome to the chaos. It's always chaotic. It's, it's always chaotic. Always, always, always. So yeah, nonstick craft mat. Definitely need to, um, Definitely recommend one of these. It doesn't have to necessarily be this big one. This is the big one that uh, they designed for the Tim Holtz glass media mat. That's why it's got like the weighted corners and everything. It's just a big dude, but they're all made by Tonic. All the same thing. The reason I like it is because ink sprays, etc., bead up on it. Ah, uh, question. Do you know how many colors of ink Simon has now? Uh, the positively saturated ink line has 66 colors as of right now. I assume they have more, but like coming, but I have no idea. I didn't even know about the six newest ones until that release. So as of right now, there's 66 and then we'll just see. I'm hoping for more colors. Um, I did a video last week, something. I did it live on Facebook and then I was able to upload it to YouTube of just me swatching the new six colors along with I swatched the rainbow splash colors, which same formula, everything. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just see what happens. So yes. Hello, Kath is here from Scotland and happy to see I'm not the only one with a stained media mat. Oh yeah. This thing is going to stain. It is like a woven sort of Teflon type of material, but it's literally woven. And then the back has the, the silicone, silicone, you know, grippiness to it. And yeah, certain things, especially speaking of Simon's positively saturated inks, that stains the most. Their inks just, there's something about the formula that it just like seeps right in there and just stains the heck. I don't care. I don't care. It's used and I wipe it off. It's seen it's, it's clean. It's just stained. So I'm going to take my watch off too. Why not? Why not? Um, Ruth. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't get notifications of that sort, but at the same time, I, when it comes to like the amount of like 
orders and like the orders I place and then stuff that gets like shipped to me, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, and then all the spam I get, like your package is pending, click and give all your personal information. Don't click on those emails. I get those all the time. Like so I get so many that I'm just like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. Anyway, anyway, let's make a mess. So stain, yes, exactly, Kath, <laughs> it is. It's loved, it's very loved. And it's just gonna get more stain the more I use it. And I just, I don't care. I really don't care. The only thing you wanna technically avoid with these craft mats is things like alcohol inks, but really like, cause like alcohol inks will stain it, but really like regular inks stain it too, so. I just, usually though, if I'm working with alcohol inks, which I don't work with very often, I just work directly on glass. That's where alcohol inks work best because then you can just clean it up with, you know, isopropyl or rub, rubbing alcohol and it just wipes up. But I like the craft mat for ink smushing, etc., because the inks will bead up on it. Whereas, and I've shown in other videos, if I was to do it on glass, everything just turns into a puddle it won't bubble and beat up and give all that speckly, fleckly amazingness. You know, different substrates, different work services for different things. So, anywho, anywho, these are the colors I plan on using. So we're gonna use three spray stains for ink smushing. So I got Wild Honey, Peeled Paint, and Barn Door, because I thought, again, those will make nice fall leaf colors. And then to mix it up, I pulled out Fallen Acorn uh, Distress Mica Stain, which it's going to add an interesting little effect. But you can definitely ink smush with the mica stains. So let's just, let's just muck around. Okay, I got my flower sack cloth. What else do I need? Oh, my heat tool. Need the heat tool because you got to dry in between the layers. And make sure it's plugged in so it actually works. And my spray bottle. Where'd that go? Okay. So. No different than doing uh, ink smushing with just inks. All you do is smush your um, inks, you know, spray your water, do your ink smushing. Same idea. Do you need to have the sprays do this? No. It just gives me another excuse to use them. This is going to get messy. Um, using the sprays this way, it, it gets everywhere, especially with the red colors. So I'm actually going to take my flower sack cloth I'm gonna build like a little barrier because <laughs> this is gonna get messy okay so let's start with wild honey that's probably more than I need and the nice thing too using the sprays is they just beat up immediately before I even add any water you know but I'm still gonna add a little bit of water not a lot you don't really need a whole lot and then I got my little die cuts and we're just gonna start smushing them just, just give them a little, little tappy tap. <laughs> and we'll just see what happens. So there's one. And like I said, I'm probably going to do two cards. In fact, I am going to do two cards because that's just, it's just habit. I can't help it. I can't help it. And yeah, they get all those little like textured bits that I love. I love. And yeah, you can wear gloves if it really bothers you. Personally, it doesn't bother me. And even though I don't even want to get into it because it always turns into a bloody argument with someone, spray stains wash off. They wash off with gentle soap and a loofah. That's it. That's all you need. Just a little bit of gentle abrasion and a gentle soap. That's all you need. Please do not use bleach. Please do not use magic clean erasers harsh chemicals anything like that they're not meant for skin it just just stop it stop it all right <laughs> ah! <laughs> if it's used to soften denim it's not good for you well and it just and i s explained that to someone just in the comments the other day putting bleach on your skin and if you have something already on your skin that could react with the bleach you could get a chemical burn 
mm, not worth it. Not worth it. Just, just, just need gentle soap and water. I'm not recommending anything crazy, you know, not crazy products, nothing. Soap and water, you know, and a loofah works great. And if you don't have a loofah, wash your hair. That it does the exact same thing. Anyway, we're getting into this. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to use the mountainside folder in this to get, I was going to use a different one. Cause I was like, I just used it, but I really love it. So I think I'm going to flip it around and use it upside down. We'll see when I get to it. Anywho, anywho, uh, that is a really pretty color. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I went with the wild honey. It's such a orange toned yellow. Yes. It looks like the trees in the backyard. Yes. That's what I'm aiming for. Like real fall colors. And with ink smushing, you need to dry between the layers because wet on dry layers, wet on wet blends. So if you want all that texture, you know, which is what we want, they need to be dry because otherwise it just turns into a blobby inky mess. Uh, but can you get red and pink ink from your hands? Yes, honestly, I, hmm, I'm going to have Chris hold my phone and film me washing my hands when, maybe even after today. We'll see how bad my hands get. I'm going to show and prove. I can remove. I did it the other day. I showed it in the video. I didn't show me scrubbing, but I showed my hands. I had red ink, everything all over my hands, and I like showed them. I went immediately upstairs, washed with my loofah, came right back down, turned the camera back on, and there was nothing. So yes, that's it. Just gentle hand soap. That's all you need. And a loofah. So, yeah. Yeah. Just just keep it simple, people. You know? I ain't, I ain't gonna be recommended. Nothing crazy. So, yeah. It's... I missed. And yes, just washing your hair. I don't wash my hair every single day. So that's why I recommend like the whole loofah thing. Because washing your hair too much, it strips the oils from your skin. That's a whole other thing. But this is a card making channel. I am not getting into like skincare and hair care and all that stuff. But yeah, if you're planning on having a shower the same day, just wash your hair. It's the exact same thing. It's gentle friction and soap. It takes it all off. And then you don't have to like use harsh chemicals. Anyway, anyway. Okay, let's just keep going. Um, yeah, we're going to add some peel paint. That's the one thing too, why I like doing ink smushing with specifically leaves because some of these colors are going to go muddy, specifically green and red. That's just color theory, you know? However, muddy color on leaves, that's, that's nature. That's just nature, baby. So we're gonna do a bit of peel paint. Spray that on there, spray that on there. Um, oh yeah, like I don't mind having ink all over my hands. I just, it depends. Like if we're gonna go out and run errands, I don't wanna look like I murdered someone, you know? Cause that, yeah. Cause it's usually red ink that I end up having like all over me. And it just, I would just rather not get any weird questions from people. So this is what I'm talking about. So yeah, it, it does wear off eventually. You know, you wash your hands enough. It's, it's, a, it's gonna come off quite quickly, but that's a way to remove it quickly. Yeah, yeah, let's just keep smushing these guys into this peeled paint. Oh, these are fun already. Anywho. And yes, hello to everyone. Just tuning in. Okay. Just kind of wipe up the mouth. And wipe it up again. And then again, need to dry. And this is where a heat tool comes in super handy. Because you can always let it air dry. It's just going to take you a lot longer. You're going to have to have patience. I don't have patience, especially during a live. I don't have patience. So 
card maker, beauty influencer, very niche. Yeah, no, I am not going down that route. Just nope. But I do know enough about skin and all these things. I am a professional esthetician. So I know about skin and nails and I've taken like I'm actually certified, but I'm not going down that route. But I'm also as a card maker influencer, I hate the word influencer. Um, I'm going to give the best advice that I can and try to sway people from slathering themselves in chemicals that are not meant for your skin. Like, they're meant for scrubbing toilets, people. Hey, anyway. Anyway. Yuletide, gorgeous, but murder scene. Yeah, Yuletide, that was the one I used in my last live, I think, and <laughs> it does look like a murder scene. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want to know about your little ring size. Here. Huh? Oh, this? <laughs> Isn't it fancy? I'm, I'm such an influencer. I'm also a jewelry influencer. So instead of paying money to get your ring sized when they're too big, electrical tape. <laughs> yeah. It's just electrical tape. I wrapped her up because my rings, I, we need to make them smaller. They're too big. Um, but I don't want to do it right now. Don't have the time. And I don't want to just not wear them because I do love wearing them. So I have wrapped many layers of electrical tape <laughs> around them. And I knew it was only a matter of time because I show my hands all the time. I was like, people are going to notice this big black blotch. I have no other way of making it pretty, but it works. So yeah, there's like a total trick for you. If you, you know, if your rings are too big, just wrap electrical tape around them. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so uh, that's, that's, that's what I do. I'll eventually, cause we have to, that's part of it. We have to send them away. Yes. It's time consuming. And also I genuinely, and Chris, cause Chris is like, let's just send them away. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Cause if I don't wear my rings in my videos, I have literally had comments, emails, people contacting me, freaking out. Like, oh my God, are you okay? Did you break up your relationships? You know, all the things. And I was like. So I've been kind of joking and teasing Chris. I was like, oh, can you just get me a second set of rings in the property? You know. How about we just... How about just a dollar's worth of electrical tape? I have enough electrical tape that I can wrap these 50 times from Sunday. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway. Or yeah. just get a temporary tattoo. Of <laughs> yeah, a temporary tattoo. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, that's, that's all it is. My fancy, fancy ring sizer. It's just electrical tape and it works because they were they were driving me nuts when I was like going you know because I talk with my hands I'm always going like this and they were swinging and they're bonking into the glass mat and I was worried I was gonna like knock a stone out or break some you know so this works this works so yeah anyway <laughs> here's a link to Amy's ring sizing kit exactly exactly the fanciest, most precious of electrical tape that it was like a dollar forty nine for the roll of it. I went really high end too. Yeah. Okay. Barn door. This is where things might get all muddy, and I'm okay with that. And red, no matter what, always goes everywhere. Hence my little like barrier of my flower sack cloth to keep red ink from getting like all over my computer and all the things. Anywho, anywho, back to what I was doing. I'm like distracted by electrical tape. <laughs> uh, I may be a little fancy and bougie with some things in my life, but with others, I really don't care. Eh, hence the electrical tape. Uh, so yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. See, that, and this is why I like die cutting first, because see, I can see exactly, you know, it's like, hmm, I want a little bit here, or I want a little bit here, or whatever. I'm going to go light on the red, because I'm sliding brown, and I might go back in with a bit more of that wild honey, because I really like that color. 
because that does get a bit lost doing this. So yeah. 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 Uh, uh, there's no name for this jewelry. This was, there's no link, name, nothing. Chris did all the work. He found it and sourced it and ordered it all the years ago. Um, the engagement ring, that's an anniversary band. Because that too, everyone was like, oh my god, you got married. We're not. We're living common law. It's all good. Um, so yeah, we will eventually. And then I'll get a third ring. So, it's all good. It'll be the best Vegas church wedding <laughs> drive through ever. Except I don't think they have the Elvis impersonator to do weddings anymore. Oh, I'm the Elvis impersonator. Oh, you're going to be the Elvis impersonator. Yep. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> totally fine with that. Because we totally. are not doing a ceremony. We ain't doing nothing. That's not my... That's not my jam. I... We've discussed, yeah. It most likely will be like some Vegas craziness something. Vegas isn't my jam either, but... Anyway, anyway, that's red. Oh yeah, I'm good with this. The thing with ink smushing is knowing when to just, you know, because I could just keep going and going and going and going like the Energizer buddy. Anywho, anywho, um, when you have arthritis and your knuckles get too big for you. Oh, that one, on that one, I don't. It. The only thing you can do with yeah, with arthritis and your knuckles getting too big is to get the types of rings which generally are very much cheaper. Although there are some higher end ones that that aren't a solid ring that are more like a wrap, you know, or that are adjustable. That's what you need to look for because I've seen them and I I know someone personally who has severe severe arthritis. And you can even get rings like larger ones that help with like straightening out your fingers that sort of thing. But yeah, when your knuckles start to swell and those sorts of things, adjustable type rings are the way to go. And it's, I would highly recommend that because it either not wear jewelry at all or to do the adjustable because yeah, when your hands swell and joints and all those things, and I've watched those videos, like people like where it gets so bad that they have to have their rings like cut off of them. It's scary, it's scary. So yeah, that's the only tip I have for that is Cause I was, I was looking at rings the other day just because things were popping up my feed, you know, and I was showing Chris some different ones. I was like, Ooh, this would be pretty, but it was too expensive. But I was on the Tiffany website way above my pay grade, but they had a few that were kind of like wraparound ones that weren't solid. They were, they would wrap around, you know, so I would almost assume that those could be a little bit adjusted, you know, not, maybe not necessarily like the Tiffany ones cause they're solid fancy expensive crap but you know what I mean so yeah yeah anyway actually actually I might even have it right on here because I was looking and then I don't think I closed the window bingo they're expensive ones like this and this is what I'm talking about stupid expensive but ones like that where it's not a solid band so then it could hopefully be adjusted is what I would look for. But yeah. Tiffany makes beautiful jewelry. I just... These are not Tiffany. <laughs> I told Chris when we discussed it, I don't want crazy... That would stress me out. I would be stressed constantly. Like, I don't need no super insanely expensive jewelry because I am a klutz. You know? So, yeah. Yeah. I'm not. My birthday's in October, so my birthstone's actually opal. But I, we don't like tradition. We don't, we don't dance to tradition. And we're also, both of us are pretty much not big fans of uh, the diamond trade and what it all stands for, et cetera, et cetera. So I basically gave him a rough idea and just, it's like, he knows I like color and that's what he picked. Always been a fan of purples. Yep, I like purples and aquas. You know, all all the colors really. 
You know, if they'd made the stone and it was like rainbow. <laughs> I've been like, it's the most beautiful thing ever. Maybe just something uh, like a true mood ring that just shows Yeah, just like, you could have actually, you could have got me a mood ring, except it would have been just like, she's miserable <laughs> all the time. It's always a black on it. Why, yeah, right? why is it always black? It's like, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have moon rings when I was a kid. They were considered like satanic. Anyway, we're not getting into that. Leaves so far. Leaves. Anyway. Um, yes, Etsy might have a lot of options. I, I have to avoid a lot of that stuff. That's for me personally. I, a lot of cheaper and I use that you know loosely but like costume jewelry things like that I am severely allergic to them because most of them contain nickel and I will not I will turn green I will break out in hives with most co and even ones that claim they don't I can tell within about a day because they they'll have like a coating on them and my skin will literally eat away that coating and then I turn green I break out in hives a rash everything so I can't do like cheap jewelry but things like sterling silver those sorts of yeah like yeah there's there's so many options out there so anywho anywho okay now we're gonna add some shimmer so we got fallen acorn mica stain i've shaken it up you shake the devil out of it to get all the mica dispersed which it's hard to tell with the darkest ones but yeah, you see, there's nothing sitting, you know, there's no sludge, no pretty sludge because it's been shaken up just like so. <clears throat> so. And then you wipe this off. Put that aside. Add a little bit of water. Again, you don't really need to add water when you're using the sprays for your smushing. It's just habit. You know, just, just cause. So we're going to add Yeah, going to just, going to just do that. Ooh, that got a lot. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Get my finger in it, muck around, whatever. Whatever. We don't either. We knew each other for 50 years before we got married. We met when we were five years old. That's adorable. Love it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Again, trying very hard not to, not to overdo it. Oof. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's just, just, just little bits, just little bits here and there. Yeah. And then if we just go like this, kind of tap it on. A little tappy tap. Eh. You can also ink smush the back of it, you know? You learn all kinds of new tips and techniques around here. Yeah, I bet you didn't think of that one. Anyway, I'm in a really weird mood today. Uh... I'm gonna just... So we'll probably go back in with a bit more of that wild honey at the very end, just cause I can. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. See? It's starting. Inky. Yeah. Let me just go get the molten lava to clean it up. One of my mega spacing balls doesn't seem to have a little ball in it, no matter how much. If you have shaken it up. And everything's dispersed because it can, the, the little ball bearing in these can like get stuck 
it happens. However, if you have like shaken the devil out of it and it's all mixed up and you don't hear that, there is a chance it could have just got missed in production. It, it happens. It still is gonna work. The ball bearing is just in there because it helps like move things around, you know? Um, they do sell, oh, I would have to, cause I know actually Simon Says sells them too. Um, one sec, one sec. I don't want to go with you. Camera day for too long. Wrong container. Wrong one. Oh, I don't know where I put them. I had them. I had them. Um, yeah, because you can get not only, uh, not only like the reef, you can get replacement spray nozzles. Simon Says Stamp carries them for the Ranger stuff. And then there's also, I think it's empty, the empty bottles themselves. I can't remember if it's the spray bottles or if it's the other bottles. Because Tim did a whole video on that. That was like a couple months ago, whenever it was. And it, you get the ball bearings. You get the ball bearings so that you can like play chemist and mix up your own colors. Do whatever you want to do. But yeah, you can actually get them that way. Um, and yeah, you can also technically get ball bearings at like a hardware supply store. But the thing you need to pay attention to is to make sure you get one that isn't going to rust. Because that would suck. You know, because it's, it's sitting in liquid. So yeah. Okay. I've cleaned up most of my mess. Let's, let's dry this. I'm, I'm, making a, I'm making a huge mess here. Anyway. Um. Oh, your guys' stories are cute. Yes, Kath's got it. Yeah. They're little, they're little like alcohol ink bottles. They're empty bottles and um, the little tips because Tim did an entire video. I haven't done it. I, I think I ordered a couple. I can't even remember. I'm always, you know, you watch a Tim Holtz live, you order $5,000 with products. Who, who doesn't really? Um, but the idea was to, so that you could mix these up and then pour them into these little, in these little, little dropper bottles so that you could like paint with them, etc. I just haven't bothered because I have no problem like mucking around like I do, you know, but it is a, it's an idea. It's an idea. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're shimmery. Yeah. Let me, sweet. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn flashlight. <laughs> And then there we go. It's sparkly. That's why I wanted to use the mica spray stain. So yeah. Eh. Now I got that off. Much better. Okay, back to what I was doing. <laughs> uh Could you use plastic beads? Eh. Not really. Like I, plastic isn't going to like, th that's why they use this, like the stainless steel little ball bearings. Cause there's weight to those and it's going to bang around. Whereas a plastic beads just going to like float around, you know, it's not going to have the weight needed to create the force needed to mix up the, the contents. So yeah, you, you need a, like a stainless steel ball bearing, one that's not going to rust. So let me add, I just want to add a tiny bit more yellow and then we're done. Cause otherwise it's just going to turn into a solid muddy, muddy mess. So much mess. Okay. Okay. My husband and I met at band camp. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, let's not do that. Uh, I know our our brains immediately went there. This one time at Van Camp. Anyway, um, Chris and I met at a Pride Parade. We did. That's one of our one of our things. Uh, do you use a different heat tool? Yes, yes. Uh, this the Ranger one I use just for drying things. Heat embossing with this is a pain in the butt because it disperses heat. 
that's what it's meant for. It, it's the same level of heat, like the same temperature, but the, the way this tool is met, built is it just disperses the heat, you know? So it's great for drying all my things. It's quiet, that's what, you know, so we can talk, do our thing. A heat tool for heat embossing, it directs the heat like directly and it has more force. It works better for heat embossing. Like again, you can heat emboss with this. It's just, it's gonna take you 10 times longer and it's annoying. The first time I ever used this like 15 years ago or whenever it was, it was forever ago. I hated it. Cause that's what I thought it was for. I was like, heat it. I was like, I'm heat embossing. I was like, why is this taking three months? You know, anyway. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, my comments are getting like all over the place. My husband and I met drunk in a bar. We've been married for 31 years. There's one exception for, you know, to that one. Uh, love it. Love it. Okay, we're just gonna... Really, I'm just kind of gonna tap on the wild honey just to kind of fill in some of these white areas because I don't really like... For other things, I don't mind white space, but for leaves, it kind of bugs me because it's like... They're not going to have that, you know, unless they've got snow on them, but we're not going to talk about snow. Gross. I'm not in the mood for that right now. We're lucky. Oh, so far. <laughs> Babe, we're not even halfway through November yet. Don't we're, tempt. Don't yeah. tempt fate. But this week is looking really this good. This week has been gorgeous, like the past few days, but we generally get a blizzard in November. We do. So maybe just, just shh. Yeah, we'll no, just let no me live fear. in denial. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's just pretend we're gonna have beautiful weather forever. Uh, okay, just, just trying to keep a light hand on all the things and trying not to overdo it. <laughs> okay. There. Okay. I'll just keep doing it to these other ones for the spots I missed. Yeah. Those are really pretty. Pretty and mucky and it's all good. Okay. Now we dry. met my hubby at a party. I thought he's weird. He was weird. Actually, he is weird. <laughs> Chris is weird, too. So am I. It just works. Like... Still a few little wet spots, but I don't care. This is, this is good. We've got some leaves and they've got texture and shimmer. And all these different colors, which is super fun, super fun. Okay. And I'm a mess and I'm okay with it. So hand sanitizer, people bring up that one. Like, yeah, hand sanitizer will remove some stuff, but it will not like, that's after hand sanitizer. So it removes a bit, but it's not gonna remove everything, you know? So I just keep it on hand because it's hand sanitizer, but let's clean up the mess. 
so that I can get on to the next step. And actually, speaking of the hand sanitizer, it also works really nice to clean up ink and all that stuff. It won't clean up the stains, of course, but we're okay with that. So. Uh, my other half is a weirdo, too. <laughs> I think weirdos are just the way to go, you know? Uh, okay. Yeah, I just roll my my little mat up. And then I need to find all the other things I was planning on using. Hi. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Oh my goodness. Okay. Why is that my house that weird is the new normal? <laughs> he probably already knows that. Uh, okay. Gonna use Simon's Mountainside Leaves. 3d embossing folder because i just i'm obsessed with it it's it's just beautiful and i love it i love it i love it so i'm not really like mixing it up per se a whole lot from the previous cards i did but i'm mixing it up a bit just just one thing at a time so with simon's 3d embossing folders i have the original spellbinders platinum six platform i still haven't bothered to figure out the best sandwich for me using the new platform system because i have it i've shown it in videos but it's different and this works and i have it so anyway original platform two metal shims do you need two metal shims not necessarily some people have used uh the this chipboard that comes with the embossing folder i find that it is slightly thicker than these two metal shims and it doesn't work for me but that that's why i always say it just depends on your machine because you can have a platinum six and yours will just be like slightly different you know slightly more pressure slightly less pressure i find that this my this machine gives a lot of pressure so i just have to adjust but this is what works for me so i has that and then my flower sackcloth which I just lay out so I don't get water all over the place. Oh, see, and this is why you do not store your mica stain sprays on their side. I've talked about this. I keep them on their side when I'm working on with them and then I store them upright. This was on its side, it's leaking. I don't know if everyone can see it, but it's leaking. Like if I hadn't caught that, I would have had a puddle because it's, it's coming right out the nozzle and right through the threads so yeah keep your liquid stored up <laughs> i would cry if i walked in here and like they were you know can you imagine the mess can you imagine the mess so yeah i'm gonna have to wash that off when i'm done that's fine it's fine it's all good but yeah store them up right not on their side okay okay and then i lay out the flower sack cloth just so i don't get water everywhere and then i missed just one side of my cardstock. This is just Simon's smooth white cardstock. And I only generally, oh, and that one I got ink on. Good job. Okay, going on to the next one because I want to keep these white. I only missed one side because regular cardstock gets, yeah, you can see that. See how it gets bubbly? This mostly goes away by the time it's dry, but it does create a texture sometimes. So that's why I only spray one side. I don't spray both. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Where's my embossing folder? So, got the embossing folder. I'm trying not to touch this cardstock too much with, because obviously I did not get all the ink off my hands and then I always put my folders in at a little bit of an angle anything with a straight edge I prefer putting it through at an angle it just makes it easier on the machine <clears throat> 
like it's perfection, really. But I'm going to flip it around. I think I'm going to use it this way today. Because the way they both come towards each other, I don't think it really matters. It's beautiful. I love it. Let's do it again. So, yeah. The big spell of underment six on every time on every combination of plates, shims for each type of impossible. That is the thing. And I've talked I've we've talked about this in other lives. Embossing folders just vary across brands. The thickness of the folder itself. Um I think Tim Holtz folders are the absolute thickest on the market. These come in, I think, right below that, and then they're they're just they're all different and yeah I still need to write up a little like cheat sheet for myself for my own machine because I forget this one I know because I've done it a million times but I go to use a different brand and I'm like crap I forget what I'm supposed to do <laughs> eh. okay stay stay so we got we got our backgrounds just like so and then um I wanted to use it yeah like this I just thought that would be something a little different and I'm gonna trim it down yes I'm gonna trim it down just a bit so that it'll be slightly smaller than what my A2 card base will be So, just going to trim this down to four by five and a quarter. Yeah, that seems about right. Yes. Yes. Okay. There we go. And then gonna do that. Chat is just uh, yes, angle anything straight going through the machine. Yes, yeah, same with like wafer dies. If they've got like if they're a square or a rectangle shape, anything with a really straight edge, angle it. It just goes through the machine easier so you don't have that like nothing 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 and that's when you hear that big crack when you have a straight edge of a wafer die going through a die cut machine and one it can scare the heck out of you but it does actually help the gears in the machine and everything if you put things on an angle as you're running it through so anywho okay we've got this we've got the leaves which parts of them are still actually not fully not fully dry like we're just gonna take a piece of paper towel give him a good spanking it'll be good okay and then I'm gonna like spray my hands again with hand sanitizer because I'm obviously getting smudges and and ink everywhere hmm I need a sink. Well. I wish I had a sink in here. It would make my life so much better. Oh well. Oh well. Someday. Someday. Okay. Okay. Be kind to our machine overlords. Yes. <laughs> Truth. Truth. Okay. I got that. Ugh. I'm like getting sweaty again. And then the other die set I was going to use, which I used in a live 
a couple weeks ago. I remember die cutting these gold vellum leaves. The gold vellum's in stock. <gasps> Link to it. Link to it. Link to it. It's in stock. Vellum. I checked. The because it looks like crap online. The 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 static image of this looks stupid. It does. This is usually why I do like release and reviews and when I used to do haul videos. I haven't done one in ages. But it just looks like nothing online. But then you get it and it's beautiful gold vellum. Like seriously. It's beautiful. So pictures online do not do that stuff justice. Anyway, I was like, ooh, we could go like this. And then we could just add, you know. I can't find it. It's in the list. It's already in the list. Yeah, it's right there. It looks like crap. Yep, that one. That one that looks like crap. <laughs> uh, anywho, I said this would come in handy. I was like, oh, next time I go to use this, I'll have, you know, these die cut pieces. And I went to use this and I was like, ooh, look, I've already got these die cut from Gold Vellum and they're beautiful and I love them. So, do I want to add, just trying to think, do I need to add another? No, no, just one is good. There's no point. I think this works. I think this works. So yeah, we've got a leaf with ink smushing and then the gold vellum leaf with no ink smushing. Perfection. I do want to add gold splatter. However, I cannot do that with the vellum on here because vellum takes ages. If you try to add splatter on top of vellum, it will literally take ages to dry because like it's just, it's the nature of vellum. It's not quite, you know, it's not plastic, but it's just the nature of how this is made. Everything just kind of sits on it. Um, you know, inks and sprays and all the things. They just sit on top of it. So, I want to add gold splatter, but I can't do it. So, I'll just do the splatter separately. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm gonna do. So I just need my splat box. Okay. Okay. Happy belated birthday, Heather. And yay, gold vellum. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll take these guys. And we'll just set them in there. And then my Gonzai Tombi Starry Colors, as always. As always, as always, as always. Because that never changes. And a bit of water. Stick that in there. <sighs> this was little, I have like little paper towels. And yes. I use baby wipes to clean up things too. I use the Kirkland brand ones from Costco because they're plant-based, which is just an extra bonus. So yeah. Okay. But don't flush them down the toilet. Please. Yes, don't flush wipes down the toilet, people. <clears throat> Even the ones that claim they're flushable. I actually saw that from some, and it, it was a beauty influencer. <laughs> they had to rip out the seal in their like huge home, very huge home rip out the seat like it le it clogged the lines oh, yeah. and like ruin their hardwood floors had to open up the ceiling like thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of damage and they were using the flushable wipes of course they were yeah yeah just don't just don't just don't do it it's, it's just don't anyway you add the oh why are these things there was one earlier that i missed did I miss one? I must have missed it too. I'm oh, well, thank one. you. Thank you, Moira. I really appreciate it. Yep. 
You have all the all the fabulous tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. Don't use flushable wipes or don't flush flushable wipes and electrical tape. <laughs> Follow me for more fashion advice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, I'm in a weird mood today. Splatter. Oh, I need to show those magnets that I showed you. I'm going to film. I'm going to do a live. Hopefully later this week, it'll be a bonus live because I'll do a happy mail haul because I've got some cards and packages and things to share. And I'm going to show, I'll show this in the happy mail, but I got to show it right now because I just, it was, it's perfection. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, there was no card in it, but it was just these magnets. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it. So you know what? Because there's extras in here. We'll just, we're just going to stick because my, my work surface is magnetic. So you know what? There we go. It can just sit there for now. You know? Tell, uh... And if it gets Crap, what was her splatter. name? I forget her name now. I have her on my blacklist. The one that started the whole drama. Tell her I said hi. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Yeah, my, yeah, your nephew's a plumber said they're a sure way to clog your pipes. Your cost, not to say 100%. Like, oh, people. People. Like, okay. That's enough splatter on the backgrounds. That is enough splatter with a capital L on the backgrounds. Just, just a nice, a nice amount. And then we'll add some, even though these have shimmer sparkle, they need splatter too, of course, because otherwise they're left out. So. Yeah, let's let's put him like right there. Right there. <laughs> uh yep. The drama in the card making world, you know. Although I would take this kind of drama over some of the other drama any day. This was pretty minor in the scheme of things. Okay. There we go. Gonna scrape off all the excess right back into there so that it can just dry back up for next time. I keep a jar. People have been asking about that. I just have a big old mason jar. I keep it off to the side and it's behind a couple mounts so there's no way my elbows can like knock into it because I've got like my microphone mount and camera mount and stuff in the way. So, yeah, I have a big old mason jar that I keep with water to, like, clean my brushes and things like that. So, that was that. And now these just, all these need to dry. In fact, I'm just going to leave these right in the splat box. They can just dry right there. Just, just, just stay there. Okay. Okay. Now, oh, this is what I was going to do. Let me put that away so it can dry, too. We got the, what is this? Fancy Thanks, I think they called it. Yeah, the Fancy Thanks Wafer Dye. This came out, I don't even know, a while ago. It's been out for a while. Um, oh, thank you so much, Kathy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, this is what I do. So, I die cut this literally in the minutes before I went live. <laughs> From Simon's Dark Chocolate cardstock and we're just gonna have to pop all these out mm. from their from their pieces so yeah this was the fancy thanks wafer die i've used this one i'm pretty sure in like i don't even know how many videos tons of videos tons of videos not sure if i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna use the outline i just i don't think i need it but we'll see but i'm gonna stack these together as are as are the rules and yeah let me there we go 
There we go. How does, I don't know. There's a weird option on here. Um, I was thinking as I was doing this, because I was like, oh, this one, this one doesn't have a tittle. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> The wonderful knowledge we gain from watching Laura Basson's videos. So yeah. <laughs> uh, it'll never get old. It will never get old. Okay. Get out of your home. There we go. Okay. I got like a massive mess going on here. Uh, and yeah, all these dudes are thread -y. I think, can you see that? I don't know if you guys can actually see here. I'll have to go like pretty close. Die cut threads, you know, when the edges and they got all the little pieces and threads, you know, cardstock threads. One reason for that, there's many reasons, but one of them is when you're using die cut plates that are like absolutely shot you know like completely used up and i still keep using them even though it frustrates me and does things like this there's ways to deal with this i'll get to it in a second i'm gonna adhere it first because that's actually one of the easiest ways to deal with it so we're gonna we're gonna stack these together thank you chrissy thank you so much i really appreciate it okay okay we're going to stack these together just with a little bit of craft hacky glue. Oop. Because again, as Laura Basson says, dimension is life. Well, she sings it, but I'm not going to sing it. That's just... Everyone will ask for a refund if I sing, <laughs> if I sing it. <laughs> uh... And because that is just a habit for me, it needs to be three layers. It depends on the cardstock you use. This Simon's cardstocks are pretty heavyweight. Um, all their colors generally average around the 100 pound weight. So I find three is more than enough. But if you're using thinner cardstocks, you might need to use more layers. It just depends. It just depends. go yep and then we just repeat the process for this dude and you don't need glue on the entire thing you know because a strong liquid glue, that's all you need. And for those wondering, the background noise, that's the garage heater. Which... It'll be a constant companion for the next I was going to say, in the later lives, you know, as we get into December, January, it's going to be on pretty much all the time for the most part because it gets cold up here. But thankfully today is not too bad. I don't even know what the temperature is today. What is the temperature today? We're supposed to be six Celsius today. Really? Yeah. That's positively shorts and t-shirt weather. It's pretty close to it. Yeah. I don't know what it actually is, but that's what it said it was going to be. Yeah. Oh my. What? It is eight degrees. It is. We could go sun tanning. <laughs> we could go sun tanning. This is like uh, this is like backyard fire weather. Um. 
You should play a record of Laura Bass and sing it every time. You... I should. I should ask her a sound. I want. I need to get. I told Kathy Zilski. I she she's got a sound bite that she has on her Steam Deck, so she presses it of her going, "You're doing it wrong," and it just kills me. And I was like, I and it, I I it can't be me. It needs to be hers. I need her sound bite, and then I need Laura Bassin's. You know, Dimension is Life, and her. You know, I'll just add, I'll just add them so I can just press a button. You know. Why rethink it? Why there? You know those aren't my little sound bites. There's so many, but yeah, Kathy's kills me. Laura's just makes me laugh, and it plays in my head rent free all the time. Okay, so the little the little die cut fuzzies, hairs, etc. One of the easiest ways to deal with it is just a little toothbrush. I keep this with all my tools, and actually I can let me. Let me zoom in. There we go. See, now you can see it a lot better. Like, sometimes it's really bad. Like, today, this is bad. This is this is gross. I don't like this. I don't like this. But when it's all adhered, because with the layers all adhered, they've got a little bit more uh, stability. I still hold it down pretty strongly with my fingers. And then I just kind of scrub those edges with this little toothbrush. And it helps remove a lot of those. And that's literally all I use this for. It is just my little, so you can see how much like came off. And then I can just flip around. He just he just needs a good cleaning, you know. Remove all that little those little plaque bits. <laughs> and it makes just a world of difference. Yep. in a water wastewater industry very few people can handle oh yeah I mm, yeah yeah the things people try and flush down the toilet things children you know especially when toddlers discover the magic of the disappearing objects in toilets and like Hot Wheels cars and those sort you know Oof. Uh, that is something I've hammered into my kids heads like from the get go it's like no flushing things down the toilet Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There's the first one that I, I that I did my little scrubby brush with and then that's how it originally, you know. So it makes a huge difference. So just a little toothbrush, just a little cheap one, you know? That that's it works and I keep it just right. This also does work good for that's what I used to use way back in the day like 5 million years ago in car making was like putting paint and to do splatter this way. This will give you though like that really almost like mist sort of a splatter you won't get that's why I like my fan brush and that's why I stopped using a toothbrush but there is something satisfying of just going you know but anyway actually can you turn the heat down on that heater I'm like sweating yes. like part of it is just because I'm on camera but I feel very warm right now Even I'm relatively comfortable close to that. yeah well because it's like super warm out right now it's not normal anyway okay knock it down but let's see if it gets the message it will it will see much better. So yeah, 
you take those extra little bits of time and then like I said the biggest solution more often than not to thready die cuts is switch out your die cut plates you know time for new I, I've needed to switch mine out for a while but I literally use them until I can't basically it's until I can't take it anymore until I'm spending so much time dealing with the little die cut hairs that I'm going crazy then I'm just like okay fine fine like I get the hint already and then I switch to a new plate and it's just like oh so much better and then I wonder why I didn't sooner but I'm still gonna keep using that stupid plate until I just Probably till I'm like PMSing and ready to rage and break everything. That's usually what finally convinces me. <laughs> and Chris is just snickering. He knows. Yes. He knows. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> and then the other option, which I don't know if I have a roll... Can you grab, it's right there. It's right there, right behind me. That blue roll of painter's tape. Yes. I needed it anyway, so thank you. Okay. Ah, painter's tape's another good thing to have in the arsenal. Electrical tape to size your rings. You know, when you're just cheap and lazy and not feeling like sending them away for the jeweler to do their job. I will eventually so I'm saying it here but guaranteed when that time comes I will be getting comments from people because it'll be weeks I don't know how long it takes it takes a while when yeah. they resize them it's not quick so it depends, I will have really. to do many videos without my rings and there will be emails and comments probably a couple of months worth anyway do you think it'll take a couple it might yeah it just depends that just depends. Some things take forever. Anyway, painter's tape. And you just tappy tap. That also picks up a lot of the little bits when your die cuts are being thready and annoying. So I just wrap some around my fingers. With this, it's kind of pointless because I've already like scrubbed most of it off. But that is also another option. And it does take off some. But yeah. And then I, I literally save this because it's like, oh, this one's not all used up. So... I just stick it to something and I'll use it next time. So there's my die cuts and they're all fabulous. Let me put these eyes away because I'm not sure if I'm going to use the outline. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to keep that over there. Okay. And I got those. My backgrounds. They're dry. So the backgrounds are dry. They're a little bit curved up. I use a toothbrush sometimes on detailed stamps to clean them. Yes, if you are using like sticky types of inks or different things or just like you've got just lots of buildup, like some of my most used stamps, like that beautiful flower stamp that I've used five bajillion times and they're just getting like gunky, you take your stamp, I'm gonna show it like this. You can take your stamp Pretend this is just like covered and it's just gross. Take your stamp, a gentle little toothbrush, and just some gentle soap. Dish soap even. And just clean it up. It's, and sometimes there have been people that have, you know, bought stamps secondhand. Estates of like, you know, old red rubber stamps, you know, from back in the day. Especially if you get your hands on like the old PSX ones. Because PSX ones went under years ago. Those stamps are very hard to find and they're beautiful. Oh. Seriously, you know, you find those certain stamps and sometimes they're just the people, you don't know what they were doing and they're just covered in crap. Gentle cleaner, little, little toothbrush, works, works great. And, and if they're super stained, um, get over here, get back here. Yes, one second. Um, ultra clean, I've talked about this in like pretty much every live. Ultra clean, wonderful. Thank you so much, Leanne. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to hit the ban button with these comments. Ah, anyway. Does it not give you, are you sure? No, I don't think so. I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to like, you know. You test on me. 
No, no, because you're my mod. What if I did that and then I broke it? Wow, like, I accidentally did that to someone. In one of my fir very first lives, remember, I, I thought they were a spammer and it was just total miscommunication oh. and I banned her. And then she messaged me and I was I felt so bad, but I was able to unban her and oh, uh, everything was good. But, ah! Well, if you did that and we discovered a bug, Google pays good money if we find one. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Who'd have thunk? But this wouldn't be a Google bug because I'm using a different software. Yeah, but... Oh. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it directly through like the YouTube thing. It's through my software to stream. Now, cause now I'm just like, oh, oh, like I'm gonna go hunting for bug. Like I'm like some tech geek. <laughs> it's a I'll be like, babe, I found a bug, and you'll be like, that's not a bug. <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of cool though. I know it is a very very weird profession, but some people do make a living out of it. I think it would get boring. You would have to really hunt. Like to find... I don't even know. I don't even want to know. That that doesn't interest me. I like doing what I do. I deal with enough real bugs in this garage that I work in. <laughs> Funny enough... I wish I got fish. paid for that. And yes, people make a profession of that too. Exterminators. Oh, it's practically one of my other side gigs some days. The amount of bugs I have in here. <laughs> Gross. It's either bug weather anyway. or just cold. Anyway, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't ban you, Liam. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> but yeah, I have like little, little tiny buttons. It's like your guys' comment shows up and then there's a button to add you. It's not even a button. It's just little tiny text under the comment in the same color. And then right beside it is ban. And it's like, I still need to like contact the my my people that do this software contact ecam and be like can you maybe like space that out a little bit more because it's a very fine line very fine line you know and i just i'm always terrified i'm gonna slip thank you terry thank you i very much appreciate it oi okay okay we got our backgrounds i'm like i am all over the place today so we got our backgrounds we have gold vellum leaves and then we have the ink smushed leaves that we did. I'm gonna kind of probably space them something like this is the plan. I saved a couple because that's why I did four because I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put one on the inside of the cards. So that's the plan, that's, that's the plan. Um, and then, bugs are still better than spiders. Oh, I get spiders in here. I got so many spiders in here. Ugh. Do I want an outline on this? Or do I want to spray this with shimmer? I want to spray it with shimmer. Let's just, let's just move these guys out of the way. Let's just move everything over here so that I don't make a huge mess. In fact, I'm going to be making a mess because I'm going to use this and it got no, I need a wipe. Like I said earlier, it was on its side. It started to leak, which if I go like this, I can show. See, it was already, like, it would leak and leak and it would just, it just wanted to go everywhere. Hmm. Anyway, okay. So, gonna have to, so this is, yeah, what I was showing earlier. So this is the mica all sitting in mostly sitting in the bottom it's not fully all of it yet but there's a good old all that is the mica sitting that's why you need to shake these these guys up at least you don't have bears taking naps in your garage <laughs> oh, <please no. laughs> chris is not a fan of bears I'm not. bears are not really a thing. They are up north. Like, you have to go way up north to see bears around here. It is yeah. very, very rare. Like, I can't even remember the last time there was a bear sighting anywhere. There was one last year, I thought. Or maybe that was... Maybe, but they don't, they, it's, it is so unbelievably rare that it's, yeah. it's, like, we saw one, you didn't see it, I saw it, but when we were driving to Edmonton. 
but we were closer yes. to Edmonton, yes, so right. we were near the what is that great big park right outside Edmonton? The Elk Forest National Park. Yeah, the National Park, and we were driving, and there was just like we're driving on the highway, and they have these great big fences and stuff because there is a ton of wildlife over there. And yeah, there's big old black bears just lumbering around, and yeah, I wanted to stop and. If we could have, I would, I would have said, can I stop and pet it? Yeah, I'm not that stupid. Because it was, it was huge. It was huge bear. Huge bear. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. I like bears. But I'm not stupid. Stay away from them. Stay away from them, people. There's another life. <laughs> wild animals. Don't go near them. They're not cute and cuddly. They are wild animals. Like, eh. I mean, they're a little cute and cuddly. Well, when they're little, they're adorable. And even when they're big, they're cute and cuddly in a sense. But, you know, they are wild animals with large teeth and claws. Anyway. Okay. This has been shaken up. I'm like, so... Bears are scary unless it's Yogi Bear. <laughs> I'm not going to get me a picnic basket. Hey, hey boo-boo. You want to get another picnic basket? Uh, just do a light... A light mist. And I got it everywhere. Whatever. Whatever. I'm just gonna kind of clean up this mess. I've really mucked up this dude. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and yeah, spiders, I have a severe, I have severe arachnophobia. It's not pretty. Um... But I'm very thankful we live up north where it gets winter time and kills all the things. I watched a video of a dude and there were, he had a plaid shirt on. Did you see that video? I yes, didn't. I did see that video. And it just, it was under his collar and then it's like, and he was so calm and I nearly threw up watching it. I was just like, oh, oh. I, I wouldn't have handled that. I would have been crying, screaming. It would have been bad. And he was just so chill and it crawled under his head. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Can't do it. And same with scorpions. Just the thought. If I saw those just crawl. Well, we don't live anywhere close to a desert. So. No. It always just amazes me. I don't know how people can do it. I don't know how they can do it. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. But yeah. Avoid the wild animals, people. Just let them live their lives and stay away from them. Winnie the Pooh is adorable. Yep. Yep, he is. Okay. Doesn't look like much at the moment, but like always with, um, let me do this again. They're all sparkly and fabulous. Love it. Actually here. I can get even closer. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So now we got our sentiments. And I got ink everywhere. And I lost my card friends. They're right here. We're good. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It's the kale. It is the kale. <laughs> This is literally how it is all the time. Me just wandering around, wondering where my foam tape roll is. Everyone laughing at me. Whatever. 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 <laughs> uh, oh, see, we love bees, especially fat, fuzzy bumblebees. Love them. Absolutely love them. We take pictures of them all. I do, yeah. I love when I, because like the roses that I neglect, they're they're guy they're on their last legs. They didn't really grow much this year. They 
what was left of them? Group? Yeah, what was left of them. I'm probably going to have to pull them out in the spring. We'll see if they come back at all. Because I don't... Uh, I don't have... I prepared prepare them for winter this year. So I expect them to not make it. But Yeah. Yeah. We've had things return that should never have. Like so. that weird unidentified plant that decided to grow six feet that we still have no clue what it was. No. Nope. And no matter what I did, it kept coming back. Yep. So we finally, the two, it took both of us pulling that thing out. But mm -hmm. yeah, my roses, they, they used to attract the bees and it was really cute. And you'd find a big old fat bumblebee just curled up sleeping in one. And that would always just make my day. But yeah, my roses are, they were sad. <laughs> well, that one didn't even like grow upwards. It was just like limp on the ground yes, with its blooms. It was just like, out. meh. <laughs> it had no structure to it. No. Uh, I do not have a green thumb. Um, what sort of light do you have above your workspace? I have Elgato key lights. If you, I actually have them. You have them in here? Yeah, it just, no, yeah, uh, yeah, that shouldn't matter if you hit Elgato. There they are. Bingo. Just, yeah, do it that way and then... Yeah, you can put a in the chat. Yeah, Elgato key lights. They're not cheap. They're meant for streaming and professionals and everything else. However, the perk of them is they're they've got like a they have Bluetooth settings and they have an app that I use on my phone and I can adjust the color temperature, all the things. I have many of them because for filming. You don't need near as many as I have. Like just even just one. I started with one and then slowly built up um slowly built up to what I have now to be able to film because I don't like like the professional softbox lights and stuff because those things take up 10 times more space anywho anywho they are necessary I don't necessarily want them near me oh yeah like a fear of bees and those that are like actually allergic to bees um can definitely understand it oh by the way uh, this was nina desert storm cardstock and i cut it in half and then i'm scoring it at five and a half so these will be top folding a2 cards and then i just really reinforce that score before putting everything When roses do that, they've gone wild and have to be cut way back. Might have to be taken out. Yeah, they probably just have to be taken out. I got them like at Costco when we first started doing our landscaping and I just kind of threw them into place and we've literally done zero maintenance. Like I, they should be like wrapped in burlap and mulched and all the things. Every, I know this. Do I do it? No. Because usually it needs to be done in September because that's when it starts getting colder here and I'm kind of busy and then October hits and I'm exhausted and we just get nothing done. So... Yeah, my poor little roses just are very neglected. I'm amazed anytime they come back. And they've come back like multiple years. But this last year they were just like, no. Just no. Okay. I want to use my favorite sentiment that I've used a million times in so many stamp sets. This is the XL Greetings 2 stamp set from Simon's a Stamp. I've used that one a lot. I use this one a ton. That one I use a lot. Same with that one. Just a good, good large sentiment set. You can't go wrong. So, I wonder that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna like stamp it off center so that I can adhere one of these leaves. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um, okay. I used to have my husband bring horse poop over and mix in there. Yeah, actually my, yeah, getting like straight up manure mixing it in it does do wonders my mom did that the one year in her garden beds and it like there 
were lilies or something. They put in like, th they dug down like several feet and mixed in dirt and manure and everything else. And apparently the like previous owners or something had planted lilies. Like they would have been more than four feet underground. And they grew, like it just, they grew through all of that. It, it was bizarre. But yeah. I don't think uh, us being in suburbia, I think all our neighbors would want to murder us. <laughs> if we brought in a bunch of manure let's, to... <laughs> let's put it next to, next to our neighbor's pool. Uh, just payback. Just, right, just right payback. Yeah. No. Although if we did, if we timed it right, because like the farms around here, there's that one farm that spreads manure they every do. year, yeah. and it's just it reeks to high heaven for about three days. Yeah, it's just three days of hell. You open the front door, and it's just like, just not fun, not fun. But yeah, if we timed it right then, <laughs> then they'd be like, I don't know. It's, it's those people out, out of town. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're going to line up our sentiment. Just like so. Just like so. I have another question. Oh, no. I broke it. Uh, I'm contemplating buying the heating dry tool. Is it better to use that when you're drawing backgrounds rather than your embossing tool? Kind of, it just depends what you're doing. If you have one like mine, like the the Wagner, that has like the dual speeds, you technically don't need the, the Ranger one because this one has a lower speed and a higher speed. The lower speed does work better. The whole point though is when you're drawing your background, whatever it is you've done, having having this tool because it disperses it's not pushing because especially if you have a lot of liquid if you're blasting it with this you're actually going to start pushing the liquid it's going to start just going all over the place so that's why i prefer this because it kind of keeps everything in place because it's just dispersing the heat you know um but you totally can do it with this it's just you need to either like hold it up higher or if you do have specific like the wagner with the two set you use the lower setting that works I just, the Ranger one is just nice. It's it's convenient and it's pretty cheap, I think, in terms of tool. I think it's like $25, you can look, check it, I forget. It's been many years since I bought it. I honestly don't even remember how much I paid for it. Um, I know the Wagner tool is like around the 40 to $50 US market. It's, it's a little bit spendy, but again, worth it. It's gonna last like forever. Um, Actually, I'm changing my mind. I need to put this in the corner. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm distracted. I'm too distracted. Okay, let's do this again. Put this, stick that there. Put this, stick that there. It's already linked. Yes, yes. I you just have to click on it. I, I okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Intern is, it's $30 and out of stock for the U.S. Well, okay, it's thirty dollars. Okay, yes, the U.S. one is because that is part of it too. Ranger has, and I always just link to the U.S. version. They do sell other versions for other countries because you've got like voltage yes. considerations, which <clears throat> it's nice that Ranger has different tools. You can obviously get, spe and I know people like in the U.K. etc. that have special converters, not just your basic converters, but they have special ones that can handle. You know, because if you're using pricier equipment, et cetera, et cetera, make sure you have a good, either a tool meant for your country, you know, the voltage, or you have a proper, like, good quality converter. Because, yeah, it can fry, you know. I think because the thing is, in most other countries, their voltage is way higher than ours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which will just literally fry. Like, exploded the tools. No, it, it'll be no bueno. No good. So, but I know Ranger has like a UK version and another one I forget. Uh, just a European voltage. Oh, weird. Yeah. So UK. one's UK and one's European? Yeah. People who live over there probably understand. They probably do. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> one of my professors used to have like talk about how crazy it got with changing voltages depending on where you are. Yes. It's... It's kind of nuts, you know? 
And you're in Europe. The further east you go, the weirder it gets. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. It's probably different now, but that was 20 years ago. The European Union wasn't quite a thing back then. Yeah. But nowadays, like, it's so much easier to get all the little converters is, and absolutely. different things. Like, they're so, they're just easier to get. But yeah, that's, that's that on that anyway. But yeah, it's cool that the, the Ranger, that Ranger makes, specific for their tool, it's got those two other options. So yeah, there's the U.S. version, which obviously Canada, U.S. North America. North America, basically. And then they've got the UK one and then the European one. So that's pretty cool. I just think that's neat. I don't know why. I have that Marge Simpson quote just in my head all I the time. I just think they're neat. Anyway. <laughs> uh. Okay. So I stamped the sentiment in Versifying Claire Pinecone Ink one of my faves so that got stamped on the inside of my cards and then yes learn not to bring a blow dryer even with a converter yeah that one i would <sighs> yeah if i was if if i was to travel <laughs> like that's gonna happen for a very long time yeah i wouldn't bring my hair dryer because those draw a ton of power do and yeah even with a converter i would assume it would probably blow the dryer right out well, because it's already like drawing so much but then you yeah, think of a higher bolt like it would probably just fry the especially blow dryer. in older infrastructure and in older buildings where they don't have a pretty good electrical system yeah you could definitely start something. yeah like like if you're staying in a hotel that's got let's use the word prestige yeah to describe it even i've stayed in a few not very many i stayed in a few nice hotels i swear that is my biggest pet peeve is the garbage hair dryers they include in the bath like they're trash they are i hate them oh uh, i didn't try when i went to create like that hotel was great and everything that little hair dryer was the bane of my existence. Like I wanted to throw it across the room. I was so angry. I wish I had brought my good, but I have a very good hair dryer, and I was too scared to bring it because it was like that would be the time my luggage got lost or something because it happens, and I would cry because I don't ever plan on ever replacing my hair dryer because it was a lot. But man, I hate hotel hair dryers. They just like drying your hair under a hand dryer. In the kind of. I was just like, it took me forever i was up i'm not even joking like 6 a.m those mornings just so i could wash and dry my hair because i it was oh not fun not fun i don't like hotel hair dryers but yeah i may have to like next time oh because that was asked in the last live because chris pointed, and i missed it yes if simon says stamp does create again in 2024 i didn't think they were going to it's been mentioned on simon's lives I have not heard anything yet. We'll, I'll know when you guys know, you know, when it, if it gets announced. But if they do do it for 2024, I plan to attend. We'll just see. And then I might just have to, like, I don't know, get a hairdryer for traveling or something. I don't know. Ah! Uh, I'd rather just shave my head. I just, I can't. I can't. Anyway. Anyway. All over the place. You can wear a babushka for a week. <laughs> I probably could. Uh, actually, no, I couldn't. I would look absolutely atrocious. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just one of those things. And for me, it's I'm someone who needs to. Because if I don't blow dry my hair or do something, it just it is a frizzy uh, picture. Like kind of Hermione season or ep for the the harry potter and the philosopher sound like the first movie and her hair is like bushy oh, yeah. and frizzy that's me like it ain't cute no, anyway <laughs> oh thank you so much and thank you i really appreciate it hi 
dry shampoo. Yeah, even but even that, like I just I have just very annoying hair. It just it has a mind of its own. And yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I can use dry shampoo sometimes, but I swear when I'm traveling, my hair just decides to like and not let I ever try. I think that's probably why, because I just hardly ever travel. So I think my entire body is just like, what are this? <laughs> it's getting on that pressurized tube of a plane. That too, I think. My whole system was just a mess. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see where things go. That is the that is the the plan. Uh okay. So I adhered the leaves to the inside just like so. So the insides of the cards are complete. Boop, boop. And then my plan is to do something like that. And then I've got my die cut sentiment, which I'm just mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it just needs to because it just kind of gets lost in the ink smushed leaf. But if I do that and move the leaf up a little bit, that works. That works. And then but wait. There's more. I didn't link to this. You can look up May Arts. It'll pop up. May Arts? May Arts. Okay. Yep. The one, two, three, fourth from the left. That one. The burlap twine. Yep, the burlap twine. So we add a little bit of twine. Also good for tying up a brisket. <laughs> Do not bake with this stuff. This is not baking safe, babe. Like, don't, don't cook with this stuff. There's a reason they make unbleached cotton stuff for, um, for briskets and baking and things. Don't follow Chris for cooking, <laughs> cooking advice. Definitely not. <laughs> don't follow me for any advice. <laughs> Like, if I have to give one piece of advice that I would genuinely follow, do, is not, do not follow take my advice. <laughs> uh, truth. Yeah, truth. Truth. Okay. Let's, let's tie some bows. What am I doing? Uh, and this is where the reverse tweezers come in super handy. Got my little reverse tweezers and you pinch. Let me, I can probably zoom in a bit. Just give me a sec. Let me do one while I've got it all going on here. It's much more difficult to do when I'm, when I'm live, when there's an audience. Oh, and then of course it wanted to twist. You are such a bum. Seriously. Why are you like this? This is why I don't do this on live usually. Because it just wants to be difficult. Okay. Nope. Get in your space. Just stay. Just, just stay. Okay. That was my mistake because I shouldn't have tied it, pulled it tight. You fiddle with it, then you pull it tight. I know this rule and I don't even follow it. Then you pull it out, then you tighten. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Much better. Okay. That's one. Now I just got to do it again. <laughs> uh, thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate it. 
hate doing bows. Love the look, but have the same trouble. I generally don't really have much trouble, honestly. It's just, of course, I'm live. You know, I'm live and there's an audience. So then everything's like, ha, we're not going to work like we normally do. But also, yeah, I have been tying little bows on cards for two decades. You know, hundreds, if not thousands of bows. Because those that have followed me for a really long time remember that back in the day, I used to have kind of an obsession with ribbon and I used to have a huge collection of it. And I added ribbon to every single card. And I still get grief sometimes from people. It's like, you don't do that anymore. And it's like, well, tastes have changed. And I don't have that ribbon collection anymore. I got rid of a lot of things when, um, when I got divorced and when I moved. And I had to severely lighten the load before I moved. And my ribbon collection, because it really was a collection, was one of them. And I'm okay with that. I did keep some of it though. It's just in a drawer now. Hasn't seen the light of day anymore. I've used it. You shush. You don't even know. You don't even know where that ribbon drawer is, do you? Uh. Yeah. No, you don't know where it is. So there. I believe it is somewhere <laughs> nearby. <laughs> it is somewhere nearby. Uh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nope. I used to have hurricane jars and I had hundreds of types of ribbon on little wooden spools. But that was, again, almost 20 years ago. Things have changed. That works. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Just gonna... Trim off those little ends and then I'm going to fiddle a bit. It's a little loose, but I'm going to be able to fix that in a second. So I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just going to adjust it first, kind of, or attempt to. <laughs> Doesn't want it. There we go. There we go. And then I can just take it and use a bit of washi tape to hold it in place. So yeah, that works. Um, where's my... I lost it. There it is. Um, I usually end up wrapping around and then adding a separate bow on top. Yes, and that totally works too. Depending, I, I'll, I'll do that sometimes. Um, just depending on how I want my bow to go. Like if I wanted the bow more like choo, choo, you know, then you just wrap it around and then use a separate piece and tie the bow as normal to give it that proper look. It's just an extra step. And more often than not, I just don't bother. You know, it just depends. But this works too. Although now my washi tape doesn't want to cooperate at all because it's just being a bum. There. What are you laughing at? I'm going to your drawers. Trying to get <laughs> there uh, are many. <laughs> You're not going to find it. The ribbon's not over there. You're not going to find it. Not over there, anyway. You're going to find all kinds of other random things. Uh. <laughs> I found your cord game. That one, that's the new one I started putting some because when I took the just spray stains out of there, because that's where they were. So I put some of my, my dongles. Yeah. My dongles and charging cords and things are in that drawer. Every dude has a good cord drawer. Yeah, Mine's well. It's getting pretty impressive. Huh? You, oh, God, I don't even want to know how many you've got upstairs. <clears throat> I've got a few. Yeah, actually, that's one of, like, several cord drawers I have in here. I need to go through all those. <laughs> I just don't want to. Too many. Too many cords. <laughs> uh, I still remember you putting ribbon on every card and taping over the ribbon on the back of your ATG gun. Yes, the ATG. That is around here somewhere. That is actually in a... I don't think it's in a drawer. It's got to be in a bin around here somewhere. I haven't used that thing in years. I still haven't got rid of it. 
might as well call it cold storage. Pretty much. It is cold storage, but yeah. Yeah. Those were the days, man, that, and that's also where my sense of like how much a tool costs, like when I'm like, Oh, $30 isn't much. Cause getting that ATG gun, that thing was like 70 plus dollars. And this was like 15 years ago. Like that thing was not cheap at all. It was, it was, and the adhesive for it wasn't cheap either. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now I can adhere this. Now we can adhere. So anyway, well, I guess that'll be your next little mission is you're going to try and hunt out the ribbon drawer. You weirdo. <laughs> you're so weird. Uh, each one of these is a surprise to open. So uh, yeah, as long as you don't go digging through, like don't, some things are in a very specific place. Okay. Oh, I would never want to interrupt what you've got going on in here. Yeah. So says the dude that was playing with the magnets earlier. Look, you can't blame me. You learned hard with that one, didn't you? It snapped my finger good, but, <laughs> you know, I learned the strength of that magnet, and yep. I now have enough respect for it that that shouldn't happen again. <laughs> like a toddler. But what dude can resist a good magnet? If you show a dude a couple of magnets, he's going to be like, okay, I can have fun with this for five minutes. Uh, I should just bring the fidgets. I should just have a drawer of fidget spinners in here. That'll keep you amused for a while. You... What happened to the fidget spinners? You took them from the kids and you were playing with them. Yeah, for a while, <laughs> but they kept bringing them to like the table and stuff. Uh... So they're sitting on the <laughs> on the top of the fridge. Ha! Men need to stay out of our craft room since we stay out of the garage. This is a garage. This is the garage. <laughs> <laughs> We, Chris and I are not like, um, typical nuclear couples in that sense. So, yeah. We have our spaces. Yeah, we have our spaces, but yeah, I, I have the garage and most of the tools are mine. Like the actual tools, you know, that's just how it is. It's what we do. But yeah, you've got your tech stuff. Yes. All your, all your black magic tech things. Oop. That, yeah. That I set up over the couple years. Yep. Yeah. Those work. They work. Okay. Oh, and these are magnets. But These are the magnets, by the way. Yes. Huh? They're strong because they're those neo. I can't ever pronounce Is it neodymium? Neodymium. Neodymium. Is that how you pronounce I'm it? Fairly are certain. you certain, certain? Now you no. need to check it. Because I always forget. Oh, I did get glue on this. Ah. Getting distracted. Neodymium. Dimium. Is it neodymium? Yes. Okay. Neodymium magnets, which are, yeah. AKA rare earth magnets. They're strong, but they're also very, very brittle. These are the ones from Glassboard Studio, because people always ask. This, this work surface is from Glassboard Studio. And yeah. I've been enjoying using the little magnets to hold things down, which was a trick I picked up from Yana Smakula. And then I had to message her and tell her what a genius she is. Cause I never even thought of it. I bought all the magnets when I bought the glass board and then I never used them. Cause I was like, whatever. And then she showed this in one of her videos and I was like, you're brilliant. You're so brilliant. So, and she is, and she's a phenomenal card maker. Oh, Yana is so incredibly talented love watching her videos i love seeing what she makes anyway i got glue where i wasn't supposed to and i'm annoyed i get too distracted when i'm doing these lives uh oh thank you so much Rhonda. i really appreciate it okay i got distracted uh You should have him narrate a video like Dan did for Kathy Z. We've discussed it. Um, there will be a time. It'll be a completely different thing, though, because it's just different people, different aspects. Chris is quite aware of what I do, because not only does he help now with the lives, which he's been doing for three months now, but, like, he's been watching my videos and everything since... 
like we first started dating all of that so he's he's pretty aware not not fully sometimes he thinks he's aware and he's not aware of of what i do or what things are such as the magnets and the ribbon drawer. The ribbon drawer. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yes, Yana is fabulous. Just, just fabulous. She makes such beautiful cards. I'm always just like, with what she creates. Always amazing. Okay, I want... Yeah, if I do it like this, I have to be a little creative in how I adhere this because, like I've always said, when it comes to vellum, you can see the adhesive through it. Mm -hmm. However, if you're a bit creative with where you place it, you can... Do things like this so I'm basically just gonna kind of tape it into place behind this leaf die cut so that I don't actually have to use any adhesive on it is that how I wanted to do it yes yes it is that's what I wanted to do so then, then, okay. He's probably aware of the bank account. Uh, I'm not sure if that's referring to anything, but yeah, with that, that's a whole other discussion when it comes to relationships and everything else. But that was one of the first things Chris and I did when we were dating was our cards on the table. We literally like sat down with our laptops, opened our bank accounts, and we're like, see, this is how much I have, and I'm not in debt. Same Z's. Woo! Because financial um infidelity. Financial infidelity is a thing, big time, and not good. And yeah, you know, it was just being very open and honest and yeah we we continue that with everything really so it works okay I'm trying to figure out how I'm doing this get back there okay I'm going to avoid these two spots because I'm going to be adhering kind of around all of this so I've got just some little foam squares. It would help if I had the actual foam square and not the backing. Um, yeah, okay. Mm, yeah. So yeah, foam squares. Um, Chris should demonstrate making a card from start to finish. He what some you know, one of these days we'll get him making something. We'll see. We've talked it's been talked about, it's been requested. The issue more is just space, literally. Cause the way I have my filming set up, um not conducive to two people. No, it's not conducive to two people. Because I set it up. I guess it would help if I peeled the backing off of this. I set it up for me. And I also set all this up before... Because I was like, what? It's been over two years that I've been in the garage. Um, before I even considered doing like live streaming and all that kind of stuff. So then I've kind of had to adjust everything for that. But it's like... There's nowhere for him to sit. So... We'll figure it out. It's it's just it's one of those things on the back burner for now. So, yeah. Someday, I'd like to. <clears throat> You'll get your chance. It's it's a time timing thing too, right? Yes, because usually just my, you know my life, my job, everything, everything is pure chaos. That's just how it works around here. Uh, okay. I wanna. 
do that. So you just kind of fiddle and then I flip it over and yeah, this works. And then I'll just tape it into place again. Okay. Oh, she just meant that her Chris knows what's in her account, but doesn't know what he has. They don't share accounts. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, we don't either. We don't share accounts. Nope. That's, that was another thing we both uh, agreed on. But again, different strokes for different folks. Okay. And I'm at the very end of this little roll of washi tape. There we go. It's that one. Making a big old mess, as always. Yep. And then, again, we're going to do a little foam square there. And there. I'm basically just trying to avoid the the twine and then I can do a big one on that one and on this one and then a little one just like so okay that would be great Valentine's Day broadcast both of you make a card for each other <laughs> uh, it could be interesting uh, we shall see. We shall see where just everything goes. Because, like, I've only been live streaming for, like, three months now. And I still have a million things to figure out. Eh? Don't want to rip this. Just, just stop it. Okay. I'm gonna tuck him into there. Just like so. Yes. And then... Yeah, I kind of like the sentiment down here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it up there. The problem with that is I would have to use little tiny strips of foam tape and that's going to annoy me and I don't want to do that at all. Yeah. I like that. That works. And then I can only do like, I just need to do like one, two little strips of foam tape. I can handle that. That won't drive me insane. I have, I talked about that in a recent video. I was like, I have ultimate respect for the makers that will like float their sentiments or different die cut elements and they'll cut just little slivers of foam tape, you know? And I'm just like, again, love it. And I just admire their patience. <laughs> Cause I don't have it. I don't have it. I can't, I can't do it. But for this, just, just a little, like two or three little ones. I can handle that. We can do this. Yeah, I can survive. Just like that. Okay. Uh, Yeah, okay. Did I link to my reverse tweezers in the list? I don't think I did. Did you? Did you I? I can't remember. Tweezers. Are they on there? I wasn't sure. No, I should have. Yeah. They are under my most used tools, which are linked. Oh, that reminds me. Crap. I was going to talk about the beanie. Check out the sale. It's linked below. Simon's blending brushes are on half price. <laughs> Link to it. Link to it. I was, I was look when I was linking the supplies for this, for these cards today for the live. Um, yeah, they had added their, the big, the set of the big blending brushes and the small, the ones I use the most, the big set and the small set. Half price, man. You don't need a code or nothing. Although I got a code in the description box below too. 
or is it below, depending on how you're, you know, what part of the screen you're watching. Anyway, yeah, blending brushes on sale. Awesome. Yep, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. And I need actually just, just if we take this dude and if we cut him in half. Look at this just infinite patience patience I have. <laughs> so patient. Angelic even. <laughs> You're so blessed. Yeah, Hashtag blessed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I have the, the sale category linked in the description box below the video. I think Chris put yeah, Chris put it in the chat worth checking out because yeah mostly it's all like some of simon's basics and stuff but yeah the blending brushes like good deal seriously seriously okay adding a bit of glue boop and then i'm just gonna kind of tuck that just sort of right in there Just, there we go. And those two little pieces of foam tape just kind of bump up because these leaves are bumped up a bit, you know, from the foam tape, so they're not flat to the, the cards. So that little bit, did I not put glue on that spot? Yes, I did. I did, just adhere yourself, adhere yourself. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. Uh, Patience for the card, not the man. <laughs> Some days, yeah. It's truth. Truth! Oh my goodness. Yes, that works. Okay, see, worth it. Sometimes worth it, you know? Those little, little bits. Just, yeah. I'm gonna, just going to repeat on this one. I'll stick. There'll be one. Oh, I still have that little one stuck to the end of my scissors. That goes there. Or it should. It might. Mm. Yep. Yep. We're good. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. There we go. There we go. Okay. Sometimes just figuring it out on camera is so much fun. Okay. There we go. Oh, uh, I'm like all over the place. Get my glue. Just add little bits. Don't need a whole lot. Just like so and then gonna tuck this one under the bow what are we doing here we go and it has to be very very quiet <laughs> That's why that was being weird. Okay, let me readjust. Why are you being annoying? There. Just. Okay. There. We're good. We're good. Ah. <laughs> uh, only three months. Yeah, I've only been doing live streaming since the summer, August, August, something. Something like that, yeah. August, September, October. Yeah, yeah. It's only been like just over three months. I, I've i been planning to do it for over a year. It just took forever. 
I was, and I still have tech issues all the bloody time. Um, but yeah, it was lighting issues, tech issues, software issues, all the things. A small fortune invested in camera equipment and lenses and nah, all. Uh, took forever. But yeah, I've been doing this for a whole three months now. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It and fun. then, yeah. And then Chris volunteered to start helping me because it kind of took off a little bit more than, oh, there was the extra phone <laughs> stuck to my tweezers uh chris volunteered to help because i was struggling keeping up you know we had some troll issues and that kind of stuff which has like I'm knock on wood and knock on wood we haven't had to really deal with so it's been good it's been great and you guys have been awesome it's been super fun okay okay so got those and then let's add some gold link. Um, I don't have a link to these. Search pink fresh gold. Pink fresh gold. Yep. No, no. pink fresh is one word. Really? Yes, that's the name of the brand. You need to learn these things, intern. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll be the. Uh, it'll be the gold gold glitter drops those are the ones yep we'll add a few we'll add some gold and then yeah okay so we'll add a bit of a bit of gold bling just to finish these off actually I think I want the actual pink fresh ones these aren't the pink fresh ones I just I don't have a link for these ones anymore but the pink fresh ones actually I think are the right shade of gold because I'm gonna be picky why not so those I'm are... standing very close to the ribbon drawer Chris are we playing hot and cold now <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny if you want to go look it's right there oh uh, I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> you do you just want to know what's in it now yeah. you're such a nerd uh, I can't take my eyes off it. Oh, the ribbon drawer. The suspense. So exciting. <clears throat> yeah, these pink fresh ones are more the tone I was going for. Okay. Um, so we just add some of these. And... Yeah, just a few. Nothing too crazy. Um, here, we'll tighten it up a bit. It shows up better in real life. The way the filming is and the lighting. This is how it looks a little bit more in real life. Like once the light hits it. But again... I'm also creating live and we're just making it work. Um, I'm gonna tuck some of these in here. I'll stick a little one over here. And one there. Just kind of like so. And then we'll stick. Um, it's the not knowing that killed, yeah, yeah, it's so funny, him in the ribbon drawer, yeah, I'll show him the ribbon drawer when, when the live is over, like, the excitement, it's just a drawer full of ribbon, it's funny, uh, okay, I need, I'm like, what am I doing, what am I doing, that's just here these little dudes into place and yes I think Chris has been posting in the chat um, the the link for the form for the giveaway it is also like directly below the video um, 
for you guys to put your name and address in and he will draw a winner winners because there's two cards and I'll just mail these cards to the winners we started doing that a couple weeks ago and it's been working and yeah I mailed out the last two lives worth of cards I mailed them out earlier this week so they'll be showing up for the people's um probably in a couple weeks because it was also like our post office is closed tomorrow um, because of the Remembrance Day weekend so there won't be any movement of postal anything but yeah just stick her name and address in and like always I don't keep any of that info we don't share it we don't sell it nothing like that we just draw the winners and then I delete that form completely draw the winners take screenshots delete. yes and take screenshots of the address so that I can actually put the address on the cards fill them out and send them to the winners okay okay these do look much darker. I still need to fiddle with my lighting in here. I might actually need to eventually get another. I don't want to get any more lights. I already have so many. I have so many, but I might have to think of something because yeah, I've noticed like my, because I actually had more lights facing my work surface, but they now face behind me so that it's not so dark. I got to It's just lighting is the bane of my existence. It's one of the fun things about doing this as a job. Anywho, anywho, those are the cards. I don't know how long have I been doing this? Not near as bad as, you know, this wasn't a three and a half hour life. But see, yeah, when the light hits them proper, the sentiment is much more obvious. So yeah, if I wanted to make it super obvious, I could top it with like gold cardstock. But I'm not gonna. I like this and it's sparkly, which is the bonus let me get oh, why does it always do this to me hello there we go there you go so it's all sparkly and amazing which is super super fun I'll never get tired of the Michael Stain sprays. Not ever. So yeah. And then the inside, of course, on both of them. Still got space to write. You know. Write all the things. So yeah. That was the cards. And then I have to go like this. Remove myself. I still got to figure out how to do this in a more one click sort of a way. I don't know. Yeah. 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 There's the cards. These were fun. So Chris is now going to choose the random winners. Random winners. Random winners. And while he does that, we can chat. Let me put some of my things away so I don't have quite as much <clears throat> to clean up afterwards. I'm going to close responses here in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. It's not a rocket launch, babe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Okay. Yeah. First winner. D. Rickard. D. Like D. E. E. D. E. E. Congratulations, D. Rickard. So one of these cards is going to you. That's super fun. Um. Yes, the gold vellum is what, or at least it was in stock when I was doing up my links before I went live um it was back in stock so hoping they got a bunch of it in we'll see we'll see and like I was saying earlier definitely check out 
the sale category. I've got it linked. It's one of the top links under the video. Um, check out the sale category because as of, again, me doing up the links before I was, um, before I went live. Yeah, Simon's blending brushes are on for like half price. I was a little shocked when I saw that. And even me, even though I've got like several sets of blending brushes, I was like, do I need extras? All right, second Stay one here up. is Cat Arendt. And Cat Arendt. Arendt? 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 A-H-R-E-N-T. No, her name's familiar. She, she comments a lot she? on my on my live streams and my videos. So yes, D and Cat, thank you. Thank you guys all for like putting your names in the in the bucket it's it's kind of fun and yeah I'll get these mailed out probably this week it's sometimes just again it depends on the week some weeks are just chaos and I literally don't leave the house <laughs> but my plan is to mail these out and then um like I always do I um Sorry, I got distracted by some of the comments. I will take like photos. Hopefully the photos will do these a little more justice. Cause yeah, on screen they are just, the sentiments just kind of fade out. But also my photos usually suck, but whatever. But I take the photos. I do have the blog posts and the social medias and all the things like I always do. That'll all get done after the live is over. When I clean up the, I actually didn't make as much of a mess as I normally do. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this. It usually looks like a bomb went off when I'm done. This is, this is doable. I'm good for me. Next time, next live, it's probably going to be a thousand times worse. <laughs> oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. But yes, congrats. Oh, there is D. Yes. Yeah. Congrats. It's so fun. I love it. It was Aaron. Errant? Yeah, that's what did, mentioned in chat. Oh, did I miss it? I probably missed it. I can't. I am. I lost it. Oh, there it is. Errant. There we go. I know. I butcher people's names like a crazy. Oh, you know what we forgot to. I guess I wasn't doing a Christmas theme card. You forgot to show them your Christmas sweater. Oh, yeah. We'll do that maybe in the next live because the next <laughs> live most likely will be a Christmas theme card. I did get Chris a Christmas sweater and it lights up. It's super awesome. And he was like really excited to show it, it to is, everyone. And then we forgot. It is the most amazing, cheesiest thing ever. It is really cheesy. I love it. So yeah, got him a Christmas sweater. He'll, he'll show it in the next live. Because the next, I was going to do Christmas theme today, but I just was having fun with the fall theme stuff. So most likely Christmas theme stuff in the next live. Um, I will do a live probably at some point this week I don't know exactly when because I just I need to think but I'm gonna do a live of just a happy mail haul um and show everybody the cards and things that have been sent to my p.o box I thought that would just be fun to do it as a live why not um because like that's where this <laughs> I still I love it I love it I love it this was sent to my p.o box so yeah, just those sort of random things. And um, yeah, the lives as always, like the scheduled lives that we're staying consistent with, 2 p.m. Central Standard Times on Sundays. That's just what's been working. And then the uh, bonus ones, I just do them when I can, you know, and I try to give everybody a heads up and whatever. And then I do some random, uh, yep. Yep, there's the unpaid intern trying yeah, to take is. all the attention. Nope. <laughs> I heard a beep, which generally means something something needs to be handled. So. Uh, that means uh, someone's home from work. Yep. Um. Oh, and yeah, random lives on Facebook, which I figured out. That was a new one of the new things I figured out is I can use the software that I use like to go live. I had figured out I can do it on Facebook, which I've done a couple times, which was really fun. And then that's what I did my ink swatching video. I had done it live on Facebook. And then when I was done, it popped up in my software. It's like, do you want to upload this to YouTube? And I was like, why? Yes, I do. Why not? You know, so it's just, it, you know, that way, because I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook. I don't, that's fine. You know, but my little Facebook page, I like doing lives on there too, just depending what's going on. But yeah, next week's live will most likely be Christmas themed. 
even if it's not, although it most likely will be. Yeah, Chris will wear his Christmas sweater because, yeah, it lights up. <laughs> it's, 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 it's very him. It's very him. And yeah, he, he was really, he was really excited to show everyone his Christmas sweater. <laughs> so that's what he's going to do. So thank you guys for tuning in and for um, like entering my little giveaway, using my affiliate links, all the things. I, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I've, I'm really having fun doing these lives on top of just all the other things that I do. And I like chatting with you guys and yeah, the, what software I use, e, it's Ecamm, E-C-A-M-M. -M. Yeah, Ecamm. Um, there's a learning curve and it's, and it's also, it's, it's a little bit pricey. I'm assuming pretty much any live streaming software is pricey. It's not horrible. It's just that I, once I signed up, I was like, well, I got to do it now because I've, you know, paid for an annual membership basically. So yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's just, I'm still learning it. There's so many things. There's so many things. There's so many things. <laughs> And it's just not my forte. I'm still figuring it out. Like just being able to like add people's comments took me like two months of doing lives. And um, yeah, but anyway, everything's good. everything's good. We're good. Okay. I'm going to end this live. We've got supper cooking on the stove. It's all done and ready to go. It's ready to go. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. We're getting close to supper time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we got things to do, stuff to clean up. I'll mail out these cards this week. Um, as always, thank you guys. And thank you for thumbs upping, commenting, subscribe if you haven't, you know, we're, we're slowly crawling towards a hundred K subscribers. It's going to take, yeah, someone had looked it up last time on like social blade or whatever, which I take with a big grain of salt because it's not very accurate, but I'm apparently supposed to hit hundred K like this time next year which sounds about right. However, when that time comes, I'm going to have the mother of all giveaways. It's, it's going to be awesome. But I'm also, I'm going to celebrate at 95 too, because why not? We're getting there. I think we're going to hit 92 soon, soon-ish, whatever. I don't overly, you know, focus on the numbers because they're kind of irrelevant and it's not my goal. Like, you know, to have a bajillion subscribers or anything like that, but it's still fun to celebrate, you know, they're milestones and yeah, is what it is. So when I hit 95, which will be sooner, don't know when, it'll be a few months probably, we'll do some sort of big old giveaway live party extravaganza of some sort. And then when we hit a hundred, it's, I, I will probably reach out to absolutely every brand possible and also get like sponsors. I don't know. Um, but I have been purchasing products and setting things aside and I just I want to give like more than one major giveaway like that's the plan so anywho thank you guys so very much and I'll see you for sure next Sunday at 2 p.m there will be my other regular videos that'll pop up unscheduled as always and then I'll do a live for the happy mail haul at some point this week not exactly sure when. Um, and yeah, follow me for more fabulous tips like ring sizers made of electrical tape and don't flush flushable wipes. And what was my other life advice? I forget now. Oh, and you need to see the ribbon drawer. Fourth one from the bottom. There's a lot of ribbons. Is your life forever changed? Well... No. <laughs> but. Now you've seen it. Now I've seen it. <clears throat> it's kind of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> no more so than any other drawer I opened today. <laughs> hey, look, I am very organized. <laughs> He's seen the ribbon drawer. You know, his life has forever changed. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.